We still live. Thank you for checking in with us on IG. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for uh, listening to the podcast. Let's get into the bag of pearls. The bag of the pearls. The bag of pearls. I'm so happy that we got some music topics today because if you don't know, Mr. P and I are both musicians. A little We're bit. both uh, artists in our own right. And so so tell them about tell them about your the bag the 90s. of pearls. The bag of pearls. What's in that bag? You know, um, we go digging through the bag of pearls. In order for us to get to the pearls, we got to go past a little bit of Nirvana, you know. Yeah, some some sound mm, garden. Down a hole, even, uh, you know, past the Stone Temple Pilots. And then eventually uh, you get to a great, a great, a great An musical amazing, organization. Amazing uh, musical uh, organization. I would say behind uh, Parliament Funkadelic and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, probably the best uh, uh, band that the United States has, just pure band, okay? Per- I, I, I know, I know. That's what I would say. The James Brown band, my boy. It's been a long time. All right, respect. Yeah, respect. yeah. P- I'm with P- you, though. P-Funk and, and, and Red Hot Chili Peppers, they'll suit up and, still suit up and rock a show. Pearl Facts. Jam, y'all. Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. They released years and years and years and years after the fact, just recently, they released... Um, the uncensored version of the video for Jeremy, which was uh, a, a, a single off of their uh, debut album, Ten. 10, which was an amazing album. 91. Uh, go back and listen to it. It is timeless music. Uh, and the reason why this is significant is because this video uh, showed an adolescent youth who, uh, in front of his uh, classmates, uh, at the uh, he, he kills himself. He puts yeah. a gun in his mouth, shoots himself in front of all of these students. Now, back in the day, MTV, yeah. them being the brave pioneers that they were, censored this video. <laughs> they were like, oh, you guys want to talk about uh, youth suicide and, um, you know, uh, uh, and show art that really uh, uh, gets into it in an unfiltered way? No, we're not with that. We don't want to address youth suicide because, oh, this is too violent or, you know, people might not understand it or whatever. And so Pearl Jam uh, and the label, you know, then, forced them into a situation where they had to, they chose to uh, release this censored version. So now we talk about, fast forward, it's 2020, it's 25, 30 years later. Yeah. And Pearl uh, Jam is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame now. Big time Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. If you don't know, uh, Pearl Jam is just, just check them out. So I felt like this was a good uh, bag for us to get into. Um, There was 15,208 deaths linked to gun violence in the U.S. in 2019 with another 29,501 people injured, according to the Gun Violence Archive, and a total of 417 mass shootings that took place in 2019. And this Mm. is the United States of America. People love their guns. Yeah. But these types of things are not a deterrent. So now when we talk about it, let's start with the the first question. Pro Jam, making art that was ahead of his time. Yeah. By maybe 30 years or so. For sure. <laughs> or maybe the people who they were working with were 30 years behind. Right. Either way, how awesome is Pearl Jam, A Black? Bruh, no, number one. So, <laughs> I went in the 90s, I was listening to hip hop, mm. so I didn't get exposed to Pearl Jam. Mm-hmm. And I'm still not as exposed to them as maybe I would like, knowing that how much influence they have on rock and roll music right. and how they basically were the rock and roll band of the 90s from the States. In a lot of ways. In a lot of ways. And so I want to go back and listen to a lot more of their music. Sure. But I did go through a Wikipedia rabbit hole about Pearl Jam last night. Oh, yeah? So I, oh. I got some history about them that made me hype. Let's do it. Do you know what the fir- what their name was before it was Pearl Jam? Yes, I do. You want to say it or you want, you want me to say it? Can we say it at the same time? One, two, three. Mookie, Mookie Blaylock. Yo. Number 10. <laughs> Number 10. ATL. Yo, shouts to Mookie Blaylock. Oh, who is Mookie- in prison right now? Exactly, exactly, <laughs> which is crazy. On a vehicular homicide, yo, we want to give a shout out to not only Mookie Blaylock, who's out there serving time, but everybody who's out there serving time. Prison is bad. You don't want to go there. You don't want to do it. Right. But, you know, Mookie Shouts Blaylock. Shouts to Mookie Blaylock. Yeah, yo. yeah. <laughs> so the reason why Pearl Jam's first album is called 10 mm-hmm. is because Mookie Blaylock's Mookie number, Blaylock's number was, was number, number 10. 10. <laughs> and that, that was they do. Blue. That was blue they do. my mind. That's hot, right? When I, when I That's fresh, that. right? Number one, if you don't know who Mookie Blaylock is, look up some YouTube highlights of Mookie Blaylock right now. Yeah, Mookie he was Blaylock easily was one of hard. the best. He was one of the, he was one was of the best hard. point guards in the NBA. In the 90s, yeah. for sure. 
anybody would have been happy to have him on his team. He had, Facts. He had much more upsides. Facts. You know, you know what Mookie Blaylock was like a poor man's Isaiah Thomas in a facts. lot of ways. All yep. facts. Yep. All facts. <laughs> oh, Blay- was like, oh, like a poor man's sports Gary. Again. <laughs> was like a poor man's Gary Payton. Sorry, we jumped into sports, but it's all good, man. Hey, so but the fact that their their band name was Mookie Blaylock, yeah, before they became Pearl Jam, and then the story that they told about how they got the name Pearl Jam, right? So Vetter, the lead singer. Mm. His grandma, his great grandma, her name was Pearl. Mm. So, and anyway, he said they used to tell the story that their grandfather used to make this peyote jam, mm. and which is a lie, mm. according to Wikipedia, mm. according to them. They gotcha. like they made it up, but so gotcha. they came up with the name Pearl Jam. But actually, they just took jam from like mm. um, from what's his name, uh, Neil 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 Young used okay. to jam his songs out 15 and 20 minutes, mm-hmm. and so they just took the pearl and added the jam because yeah, they I were did, really did, influenced did. by Neil Young. Yeah, Neil Young. And so definitely. Pearl Jam is awesome for a lot of ways, and they wanted their fans to be able to pay the best price to come see them perform. Hey. Right? Let's get into and it. And I believe in that. Let's I talk believe on in it. that. <laughs> talk and on so it. the one of the and so in the nineties, if you ever went to a concert back then before Live Nation, before um all these ticket uh online app ticket apps. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was Ticketmaster. You had to buy your tickets. Uh, hold on. There was who? There was Ticketmaster. And who else was there? And who else was there? Ticketmaster. All right. Two, <laughs> and there was Ticketmaster. Hey, you had you had five options. You had to ticket go master, ticket master, ticket, ticket master, You had to either go through Ticketmaster, uh, Ticketmaster. The master of tickets. Or Ticketmaster. Or Ticketmaster. All right. <laughs> so back then, Ticketmaster used to control, had a had a monopoly on all of the live music venues. Stranglehold. Throughout America. And they would add their service fees. And they was raping everybody. They were. They Let's were. just keep it gangster. They were they greedy. They were adding service fees for everything. They never played. Ticketmaster never played one show. They were greedy. <laughs> but they were getting paid off of everybody's shows. And please believe it. The employees getting paid? Everybody's nope. getting paid. No. The, uh, the, the bands? Nope. No. It was just another classic uh, type of situation where the executives and the shareholders just uh, do as much as they can. Um, and the people who are actually doing the work, well, they bear the brunt of the activity. Uh, and in some cases, you know, they get paid less once those people's uh, salaries go up. So, And Pearl that was Jam, one of the best thing about Pearl Jam because Pearl Jam believed in standing for something. They always they used their platform to speak against injustice, whether that be environmental, whether that be through uh, money. Yeah, uh, yeah, you win that, that Wikipedia hole. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I win it. I read they, the they whole page. They don't play, man. They, they weren't playing. Play at all. <laughs> it's not they playing play at all. They uh, they came after George Bush, George du- the first Bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. George H-W. Bush Senior. They went H-W. after HW. They went after HW. Yeah. Actually, MTV censored them again. Yep. Uh, by by I don't know if it was MTV, but somebody censored them. Again. No, I think no, it was MTV BBC. censored them twice. Yeah, NCD censored them again because uh, yeah. they they named George HW Bush in one of the songs mm-hmm. at the end. And uh, so Pearl Jam, y'all. Pearl Jam was like the first Kanye. That's how awesome Pearl Jam. Was. <laughs> now, so when we talk about this, I want to let me say something. So, who are you, some of your favorite uh, artists from the past, from that era, who were, uh, who were in, in your opinion, were doing the best in terms of standing up and, and really taking a stand in, in that same kind of vein? Well, maybe not from that era, All but right. uh, mm-hmm. from from another era. You got to think about. Uh, well, maybe similar to that era, David Bowie. Yeah, David okay. Bowie okay. was. Uh, he stood up for a lot of different causes, including. Uh, the rights of LGBTQIA yeah, he communities. Was he was very big and prevalent in that movement. In the movement of just self-expression, self-love, right. he was very big in that. All so right. big shouts to David Boy. Um, you know me, I'm, I, I can't, Do it. can't Say go it. without mentioning m- Say my, my, my homie and one of my biggest influences, Do Mr. It. James Brown. Uh, <laughs> Say, Say it loud. loud. <laughs> I'm black and I'm proud. I'm back in the 60s. Yeah, um, creating, JB did that. Creating anthems for people, raising money. JB had um, juice. JB had juice. I mean, he's not perfect. None of these artists nah, are. Nah, nobody's perfect. Uh, and one more, I didn't, I didn't write down, and he's very polarizing nowadays. But also Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson brought oh, yeah. a lot of oh, awareness yeah. to human that. rights issues. That's all he did was fight for human rights. Exactly. You know something about fighting, y'all? Fighting. No, who do you, who's your who's your guy though? Um, who your who are your people? I, I mean, there's so many. You so know, because I was born in Flint, Michigan. Lay showers, and um, you know, and I was raised uh, in and outside of Detroit, man. So you know, the Motown situation was there, and so automatically, you know, one of the, one of the album. I know, I know what's going on front to back. Yeah, a, a, Marvin Gaye. Let's a pro, go. A protest album that Barry Marvin Gordy Gaye. did not want to release. Really? Right. Yeah, Barry Gordy didn't want to release that, you know, because he didn't want to alienate audiences, right? Because Motown was making pop music, For and sure. if you don't know what pop means, pop means popular, which means that most of the artists on Motown, the people who were purchasing their music. 
right, were not people who had the same skin hue as them, right? right. So Barry Gordy, him being the, uh, the forward-thinking businessman that he was, he didn't want to jeopardize that type of situation. Um, but, yeah, uh, uh, you had, um, you know, uh, what's going on. I know that joint uh, front to back. Um, you know, when you Thank think you about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, forget, forget about it. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, but yeah, oh, from okay. that era though, I throw in Fishbone. Listen, Public Enemy. Shouts to Fishbone. Shouts you know? to Public Enemy. I Let's was listening. Yeah, man. I mean, I was Let's listening. Go. I was listening to Mad Public Enemy when I was young. I was listening to Mad Ice T. Yeah, yeah. No, I, it's true, man. Uh, Ice T, N.W.A. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all one that a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all really might not understand, but uh, W.C. in the Mad Circle. Yeah. Like out the West Coast, W.C. from the uh, West Side Connection. When you listen to his early work, W.C. in the Mad Circle, his stuff was. The like it's brilliant, super conscious West Coast, mm. like really talking about, you know, the whole thing with the with the with the cops and the and the unity and you know um, what you might even call um, sort of have a, like Pan African elements and things like that. Yeah, early W C wasn't on all that gangster stuff, man. Yeah. W C in the Mass Circle that was Coolio, W C and uh, and D J Pooh. Oh wow! Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's awesome, um, man. But for me, the two biggest uh, joints, man, is uh, just you know I gotta say it, man. Rage Against the Machine and Wu Tang Clan, bro. Rage. Rage Against the Machine for me, yeah. You you know about that, Rachel? You know about Rage Against the Machine? You don't know about that, huh? Yeah. You know yeah. about that Wu Tang Clan? Like oh no, we're gonna get y'all up on that. Um, Rage Against the Machine. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Uh. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Ah, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All of that. So, um, I'm just saying, they, they, they did it for me. Without getting into it, man. Uh, so that was it, man. That listen, was it. To, listen, if you get a chance, listen to Pearl Jam uh, 10, Pearl Jam Versus, and watch this really crazy music video uh, about Jeremy. And uh, check yeah, that it's out. a great music video. Go it's look at the music video. Uh, and let us know what you think. Yeah, look up uh, Jeremy Uncensored Pro Jam. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think. Pass Email the us at pastorbackpodcast at gmail.com. IG, uh, everything. Everywhere. We everywhere. Let's get into the next Let's bag. Let's get into the next bag. Rah. <laughs>